Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new PTCO video, and can I say, finally, finally, I was able to get my four Decidueye GXs that I need to make some Decidueye deck videos. These things, it took a while to get, you know, I had to trade away some of my bigger cards to get them. Stuff like Seismitoad Full Arts and Evil Tall Full Arts. Um, I was able to get my four Decidueye, so it took me a while, but you know what, I got them. And we can finally start making some Decidueye decks. And I got a lot of ideas in mind. I mean, you got like Decidueye Latios, you got Decidueye with like Tauros, Decidueye, even Hoot Hoot, Decidueye Seismitoad. So many Decidueye decks to cover. But we're going to be using one that I think is my more favorite one right now. I don't know. Um, this is going to be Decidueye with Lugia and with like one Trevenant. So this deck, mainly you use Decidueye as one part of your attacker so you're going to be using decidueye sometimes with razor leaf but you may also use other attackers now we'll get into those in a minute so decidueye is a pretty pretty tanky card i mean 240 hp for stage two is a lot and it's mainly good for its ability feather arrow once you're in turn before you attack you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon that is op when you factor in um, the fact that you can do that every turn. It's not like Golbat where you have to play it down once and then use Devo Spray. This you can just keep using every turn. You can run Devo Spray too to reuse it, but you, nah, we don't really need to run that. So the goal of this deck is to get as many Decidueyes out in play as possible. And the way we're going to do that is with Force the Giant Plants. This allows us to evolve our Grass Pokemon from the turn we played it. So this will allow us to actually get Decidueye into play literally on like the first turn we can get multiple decidueyes going on our very first turn which is kind of the goal of this deck and we can use decidueyes as an attacker you know razor leaf three for 90 with like no other effects not really the strongest attack especially only doing 90 for three energies when we got like lander cx i can do like 150 for three i don't know but um or like lapras gx which does three for 160 but you know what when you got in feather arrows and stuff like that i mean that damage does add up after a while it's uh gx attack actually isn't that bad either put three cards from your discard pile into your hand i mean that's good you can get back a lot of stuff with that so yeah Decidueye GX, it's not the worst attacker to use in the world. It's a beefy card. Its biggest issue is its weakness. It is weak to fire, meaning Volcanion kind of wrecks this deck a little bit. But not really. I mean, yeah, really, but not really at the same time. So other attackers we got, we got one Trevenant. This is a really good card in this deck, because what you can actually do is you can use Dark Forest and trap something in the active while you use um, Decidueye's ability on their bench. That can be a one. Yeah, that can be one way you can knock stuff out. Is trap them with Trevenant, Dark Force them, and go that route. Or you can run Lugia in the deck to just use straight power with Arrow Ball. Just, you know, you're already doing a lot of damage with Arrow Ball as it is, or even Deep Hurricane. Why not just add in the Feather Arrow damage just to make, you know, it a little bit better? And we even run one Beedrill in the deck. Uh, Garbodor kind of hurts this deck. You know, without the Feather Arrow, this deck kind of falls on its face a little bit. So Beedrill just allows us to kind of get around Garbodor a little bit with Tool Scrapper. Plus, you know, Pin Missile. I mean, it may not always be good, but you can use Pin Missile to get, you know, get you out of a little sticky situation. Uh, so we are going to play one Beedrill. Two Shamans for that draw support. We got the 4-4 line. Um, I mean, Daytrix, not that good of a card, but you know what is what is. Even these Rowlets. So such a simple artwork uh, for Rowlet. But yeah, that's basically our uh, Decidueye deck. Uh, it's mainly built on tech with Decidueye. I got more Decidueye ideas in the future. Do not worry. But for now, we're going to be looking at a version that uses Decidueye as, like, one of your main attackers. So going to the items, we got two bikes. Um, now, I want to run more, but I couldn't find enough room in this deck for more acro bikes. We are going to play two of them in the deck. Uh, two level balls, searching out your Rowlets and uh, Daytrixes, one Revitalizer. Just gets you back your uh, Decidueye and Daytrix and Rowlets, stuff like that, when they're discard. Very good card. One Super Rod, just to get back your energies and maybe a Pokemon you lost. You can always take out the Super Rod if you really don't need it. Uh, but I like having the Super on this deck. We got one Timer Ball. This is a really good card in these kind of decks where you can get your evolutions in play really easily. So you can do run one Timer Ball in the deck. Uh, for Mail, this is very important because we need the Mails. Because there's so many good items in this deck that we need. So we're going to be running four of those. Four Ultra Balls. Ultra Ball, again, you know, searching out your cards. You really need these. I don't know if you could... I mean, you need the four Ultra Balls. But I, I, it'd be nicer to find room for more Timer Balls. And maybe, I don't know, like a Nest Ball or something. Uh, four VS Seekers for our stadiums, or not stadiums, our supporters. I don't know why I said stadiums, but they're for our supporters. And we got four Force Giant Plants. This is how we're going to be getting those this GYGXs in play extremely easily. So we got four Force Giant Plants, two Lysanders, just a great card in general. You can honestly run one if you really wanted to. Um, since you already have Feather Arrow, which kind of snipes things, but it could be good. Again, you can Lysander, Dark Force, something. 
three ends for draw support, four sigmars for draw support. Those are only supporters we play. Maybe you could play in like a ranger if you want to. You could throw in Olympia. You could throw in delinquent. You could throw in um, Professor Kuki is another good one. So you can always find room for those. One belt. This is a great card to have on like Lugia or like Trevenant just to give them more power. Uh, two float stones just giving stuff for your treat, especially Decidueye GX giving that for your treat. Uh, four DCEs since, you know, Decidueye and Lugia need DCEs. And then we got four grass synergies. Pretty standard list. I don't know if you could find room for like a special charge. Wouldn't be bad, but I feel like with Hollow Hunt, the DCEs aren't really that big of a deal when you already have Hollow Hunt as your GX attack. Since really, it's the only GX Pokemon in your deck, so you're never really going to need to use like a special charge. When you can easily just Hollow Hunt and get your stuff back. So uh, we're going to try out this deck in action on PCGO. Cost me a bit of an arm and a leg to get these Decidueyes, but we finally have them, and I have a lot of Decidueye ideas coming out. So we're going to be looking at this version I got here. Kind of inspired from Omnipoke. Forgot to mention that. It's a little bit inspired from Omnipoke's list he made. I saw this video last week or the other week. I don't even know. Um, okay, where is it? So I got all these. Yes, yeah, so you got Hypno Decidueye, uh, which I might make a video on in the future, depending on how good the deck is. Uh, you got Hypno Decidueye. You got um, Decidueye Tauros, Decidueye Latios. They even made a deck using the normal Decidueye. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of Decidueye decks I got made on this game. There's so many ideas I can do with this deck. Um, it's a good, it's a really good card, it really is. Um, so we'll see. Try this deck out in action. We're playing against Padovini, playing an all-colorless deck. I don't know what to expect uh, with this, but we'll see. Let's flip a coin and we lose. Dang it, dude. You. One thing with this deck is going first allows you to get damage out on your very first turn if you're going first. Because you usually can't attack in your first turn, but with the Decidueye, kind of breaks that rule. So we're going to mulligan a bit, see what we're up against. Uh, he plays heavy hammers. Oh my god. That's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to deal with. Um, okay, so we start with Lugia and we get a Rowlet start. This hand is actually pretty good. Might have to lose the Revitalizer, depending on how this goes. He plays a lot of hammers, so that could be a problem. But we'll deal with it. Again, as long as, you know, you got Decidueye's ability, you know, hammers. You don't really need to even use energy. If you can just do, like, 60 to 80 a turn with, like, four Decidueyes in play, you don't got to worry about the energy too much. But still, a bit of a roadblock, so we kind of have to get around that. We'll see, though. We'll see. I don't know. Is this, like, Wheezing or something? Garbage or Bunnelby? I have no clue what we're up against. But uh, whatever we are, we're going to try and win. And, oh, it looks like it's Tauros Garbador. Okay, now this matchup I'm a little worried about simply because of Tauros' Rage. Since it's going to be a little tough to take one-hit knockout, so this could go badly. As long as we get an explosive first turn here, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be fine. And uh, as long as we can make sure no Garbadors hit the field, we're also good. So, yeah. Alright, DC, I did not want to see you. We're going to have to attack him. We'll get knocked out, most likely, but I mean, that's the risk we got to take. So we'll do the mail, see if we can find anything, and yeah, we don't need that. I'll go with Ultra Ball. We do have to lose an energy, which is really, really annoying, but what can you do? And I'm just going to grab a Daytrix here, try and get the Decidueye and play a little easier. Uh, I guess we'll play Shaman down. Also, while we're at it, we're going to have to attack this Tauros. I know we're going to get hit with the uh ability but we gotta do it so all right there's a rawlet we can also get decidueye gx into play we can do timer ball see if we can get enough heads off oh, we got double heads there we could have got another decidueye in play which would have been really good but you know what we can settle with another day tricks and uh let's just i guess feather arrow the tauros we're gonna put a lot of damage on this thing i don't know if that's really a good idea to be honest with you but we'll do it anyways um, I'm just gonna grab a float. I do, I would Sycamore. I don't want to lose Beedrill, though. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could do Sycamore. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to float and then bring out Shaman. And then maybe Sky Return. That might not be a bad idea. Hold on. Alright, before we do that, we'll end him. I'll hold off on playing Beedrill down. I don't think we need to do it yet. Alright, there's another Decidueye, and alright, we can actually get almost another, maybe this Acrobite gives us like a Decidueye. Uh, we can get multiple Decidueyes in play. I mean, this is as explosive as a turn as you want your Decidueye decks to have. So, I mean, this perfect start. You know, maybe a bit of a rougher matchup playing against Tauros, but 
you know what, as long as they get that first uh, GX thing out of the way, then you should be okay. So let's acro bike. Can we find that Decidueye? Uh, we get a male and a Lysander. I think... Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we may have Shaman in the deck, and then we can do another setup. Alright, good. Good, good, good. We'll try and get three Decidueyes in play. Even if even if we lose this match, I still feel like it's a bit of an accomplishment because we were able to get three Decidueyes in play. My opponent's like, well played. Jeez, dude. No! Dang it, dude. We almost had the dream combo going. We almost had the three Decidueye. But nope. Alright, I think I'm just going to retreat into Shaman. Shaman's kind of just came in cannon fodder. But, uh, you know what? We had a great turn. We nearly got three whole Decidueyes going, which would have been really nice, but that wasn't the case. There's Crushing Hammer. Let's see. Can it get Tails? Yes, thank you. All right, there's a male. All right. As long as we don't lose this DCE, this Tauros will go down with a Deep Hurricane, possibly. Oh, God. More Hammers. No Hammers, man. Such a bad card. Uh, Crushing Hammer, please just get Tails. And no, get Tails. Go figure. Why would it get Tails? Why would Crushing Hammer ever get Tails? Let's see. Will he go with Rage? If he does, then... I'll still do Sky Return, though. See, I mean, we... Technically, we could do Shaman Lock with the DCE, but then he could easily just Mad Bull us. So, rip that plan. But, you know, we'll still do this Sky Return play. Kind of annoying he got those heads in the hammers, especially since we don't have Special Charge in this deck. Um... Okay, oh, I almost got to Feather Arrow. Look at that. So let's do Feather Arrow once to the Tauros. And we'll do it again. I guess. Alright, let's do a Sycamore. I don't want to lose my Grass Energy, but we got Super Odd, so it's not a big deal. Can we get the other Decidueye going? And we can. Alright, nice. I think I'm just going to get rid of a Force Giant Plants and a Force Giant Plants. I pretty much think these cards are useless. Uh, so we can finally get another Decidueye in play. We got all three of our Decidueyes in play. Super early on. Easy to go. And let's just keep the Feather Arrow pressure going on this Tauros. And we can do Sky Return for 30. And then next turn, we knock him out. So we'll bring up the Shaman. If he knocks it out, it's not a big deal. And then we can bring up Lugia and then Arrow Ball take out this Tauros. And, um, yeah. Now, he can Rage and knock us out, meaning he can't do Mad Bulls. So maybe... I mean, I could have sacrificed Beedrill, but if he gets the Garbodor in play... Oh, there's Lysander on Decidueye. Okay, so it looks like he wants to take down my Decidueyes. And so he does go with the Mad Bull GX, so that will knock out my Decidueye, meaning he can take the thing. But hey, you know what? We can find... Uh, Revitalizer's discarded, right? Yeah, never mind. I was going to say, we can find Revitalizer, we can knock him out, but we can't. Because Revitalizer already got played, which is a bit of a rip in the chat. So we can end into four at least, which maybe I don't want to do. I don't know. We'll go with the end of four. Uh, we can try and build up another Decidueye. I, again, this is such a bad matchup because Tauros kind of just wants you to wall him. All right, there's a Rod. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we can get another Decidueye going. So let's go with Super Rod. We'll get back Rowlet. We'll get back the Decidueye. And we'll get back a Grass Energy. Uh, I mean, we could have gotten those guys back. But again, we still have Hollow Point, so if worse comes to worse. Um, so we'll level ball for Rowlet. Wish I could have belted the Lugia, though, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you could run Max Potions deck, too, if you're really relying on it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. So we're doing 80, and how much HP? 90. So we're gonna have to do one Feather Arrow to him. Unless, you know, we get Decidueye off this. Uh, I'm gonna cape the grass. I don't think I need the Ultra Ball anymore. I don't know. Maybe that was a bad idea, but whatever. We can Feather Arrow this Tauros. And we can Feather Arrow... That Taurus, because he's most likely going to bring that one up. And we'll just arrow ball and knock him out. A little, you know, a little overkill. Not really, only by like 10 damage, but whatever. Take two prizes, see what we can get off this trainer's mail. We got a Trevenant. Trevenant could be okay, but I don't think it would be anything to just trap a Taurus in the active spot. And then Dark Forest it, so that could be bad. Hopefully this Lugia doesn't lose its energy this turn. I'm really praying he doesn't hit a hammer or a flare gun. Because if he does, that's going to be a little upsetting. Um, this Toros kind of wall deck, though, is a deck I really do want to try out in the future. Sonic Lab, kind of useless at this point. We already have our Decidueyes in play. So, it's not really a big deal if he plays that down. We will lose access to Shaman, and no, oh, he enhanced Hammers me. <sighs> oh my god, I hate Hammers so much, dude. God, these cards are so stupid. 
Alright, looks like he doesn't have any other cards in his hand that'll work with, which is fine. There's a bike. Okay. I may retreat into Beedrill and double scrapper those belts off, to be honest with you. He has to get rid of a center lady. Interesting card. Oh, Misty Extermination. Alright, so... Never mind. So he actually doesn't actually play that sound lap down, which is fine. Maybe he won't get anything good off of this Misty Extermination and go from there. Again, you know, with Feather Arrow, we can easily get around these Tauroses. Well, you know, maybe what we could actually do is Feather Arrow the Bench. I don't know if that would be a good idea. We've already lost three of our DCs. We only have one left. We're really low on cards. We only got nine cards, so it's going to be a little rough. Again, I really think that these Tauros matchups are awful because Tauros, especially with all these energy discarding cards and you running a limited supply of energy, it just gets pretty rough. Okay. Here's what we'll do. I'll use my GX attack. And yeah, we'll do that, I guess. So let's go with Hollow Hunt. And uh, we'll do Feather Arrow, obviously. And I think I'm just going to hit that. If I hit the active, it's going to give him more damage to work with. But we'll Feather Arrow the active anyways. Okay. And now... Mm, he has more cards in his hand. So I think I'm going to take this opportunity to Lysander that other Tauros. And just pray he doesn't like top deck like a DCE or like Olympia or Switch or something. I don't know. And we'll go Hollow Hunt GX. We'll get back. Okay, what should we get back? I think. Okay, we'll get back definitely two DCEs. We could get back all three also. Um, maybe I should. I don't know. I'm tempted to get super odd so we don't run out of cards. But I'm only getting two, so. I could get back N also. How many VS Seekers have I used? Two. So we still have two in the deck. Alright, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I'm fine with just getting back all my energy. I, I, maybe it might have been the best cards to get back, but he plays, like, Hammers. He plays Flare Grunt. It's just risky. And if he top decks a Sycamore, I swear to God. Wait. And he top decks something. Is it, no, and then. Wow. Maybe, he's only drawn four. Maybe those four cards aren't actually going to be good. What is... Does Misty rearrange your cards? No, it doesn't. Okay. That is so annoying, though. I can't believe he actually hit that. But, uh, you know, we've still got this Tauros Trap in the active spot. He gets rid of our Brox Grit, alright. Alright, he finds an energy, though, kind of annoying. Hopefully we keep our energy on our active. And, alright, we do. Okay, good. Oh, boy. How many energies has he played? I know he played two, so has he discarded? No, he still has one left, I think. Okay, let's go Feather Arrow. We'll do the active again, I guess. I guess we'll talk. I mean, he's already used his GX ability, so... I think we safe to just keep Feather Air on the active. We'll do Mail. I don't know. Uh, okay, we're going to top deck Sidewire. I really need another Sidewire in play. But I don't want to use a Via Seeker right now. I especially don't want to end him. So we're just going to have the Razor Relief for 90. A little slow, but you know what? This Tauros will get knocked out next turn. And we can definitely Lysander it out and then knock it out. And maybe just try and take the game of Lugia. Um, unless he hammers me. Flare Gun. <sighs> Just as worse. Just as worse, man, I'm telling you. And he actually gets a DC. Luckily, Decidueye has a tanky amount of HP, so... He's only gonna do two-shot. I mean, he two-shot anyways, but still. Okay, that was really annoying, though. That Team Flare Gun is really frustrating, but whatever. What, do you, what can you do? Alright. This is super bad. So, I'm gonna have to... Oh my god, I don't. I can't sick him more when I only have when I only have two cards. So we're gonna have to end him. I really don't want to give him a new hand, but we need to find energy, which we do. All right, this is fine. We got some energy, which is good. So this can set up some things for next turn. So we can feather arrow that Tauros, and I mean we'll just keep feather arrowing this. We can knock this thing out next turn possibly. How many VS stickers have I used? Three. All right, so I should have one left. So. I think we may be able to win the game here next turn. It's possible. So we'll knock him out with Razor Leaf. Take two prizes. Hopefully we don't get end to two. Let's see what these two prizes are. Another Decidueye. All right, nice. Okay, as long as we don't get end to two and we keep the Shaman, we might be able to win the game. It's possible. We can do a lot of plays next turn. He actually does bring up the 80 damage Tauros, I guess, to knock out Decidueye. So I guess it's fair play. Plays a spin to down. What does this thing do? Your opponent's at Pokemon is now confused. 
Okay. Um, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I mean, you, okay, just a rage. Alright, good. I mean, usually when people play Spinda, it's usually for, um, dealing with, uh, Gyarados, so he doesn't play it. It's kind of just bust or whatever this turn, so we kind of just have to go all in. So, okay, can we do enough damage? I don't know if we can. I mean, we can knock out Spinda, but then Lugia gets knocked out, and... How much is he doing? Yeah, Lugia's gonna get knocked out. Ugh, I don't know if we can win. I don't see any way out of this, guys. Hmm. I mean, what else could I grab? I mean, Ender 2 won't do anything. If we had, like, Enhanced Hammer... We lost our Vitalizer, also, we can't even... We can't even, like, Super Odd and then try and get everything going. My opponent's is well-played. Screw off, dude. Honestly, that's annoying. Um, oh my god. We'll just do Shaman. I, I mean, we kind of lost, but... I mean, maybe with some bit of hope we can win. I doubt it. Eh... Oh, if we still had another Lysander, you know, we could just Lysander. I don't know. We'll bring up the Spinda and just hope he doesn't have, like, an energy or something. It's, like, the only way I can win. I just think I Fear Treat. Okay, good. I thought I Fear Treat for a sec. So, I guess we'll just Feather Arrow this. I mean, I have no idea how I'm supposed to win at this point, guys. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Do I still have a Float Stone in my deck? Yeah, okay. We can Retreat Lugia and sit behind a Decidueye for now. This is going to be a rough mat. This is going to be a rough win. Um, I'm going to have to end him next turn. If we had a Lysander in the deck, we could win the game next turn, but we don't. Uh, town map, alright. Hopefully he has some pretty nice prize. DCE, okay, that's actually kind of nice. And he gets the energy, okay. Does he have a Lysander, though? That's the question. He has a VSC get prized. We know he's already played a Lysander. Does he have that other Lysander to win the game or not? If not, then we may be able... To win this. If he hits me with that Tauros, that's fine. Because, I mean, I could I could let that thing attack me while I deal with this. I mean, if, oh, if only the last Lysander was prize. This is going to be such match to... This, uh, such match? It's going to be a, such a rough match, ma match to win. I can't even talk right now. He does end me. Okay. I would have liked to put more energy on Lugia, but whatever. I think we're out of DCEs now, too, so... We can't really build up a Decidueye either, which is kind of disappointing. We'll see what he does. Hmm. We need that last float, which we still have. Yeah, well, okay, we still have If we can top to that float stone, we win the game. Alright, just a rage. So, it's all down to this top deck, guys. If we don't top deck the card we need to win, DCE? Alright, we win. Whew! Whew. I love how my opponent says well played, but we still managed to win the game. Alright, wow. That was a really close game, though. I'm not going to lie. Jeez Louise, folks. This was a close game. Holy cow. Dang. I mean, I've made some bad misplays. Uh, well played. You know what I mean? He said well played at, like, the worst time before. But, you know what? We were still able to win. Good game to my opponent. I think that was a really well played out match. And um, that was actually that was fun. You know, I thought we were going to lose that game for sure. And we still ladder updated. Oh, we got 100 coins. Oh, snap. How many things do we have? 129. So we're getting closer to getting my boy. Um, whatever my boy is. I don't know. Just Sun and Moon Pack. All right. I don't even know if I want that Bridget. Bridget, it's kind of a useless card. Uh, I already got the five Sun and Moon Packs, which I pulled nothing out of. I pulled nothing out of them. I'm probably going to show that at the end of this video. So I show you, I'll show you guys what I got of those Sun and Moon Packs. I got like nothing good. I got one decent card, but even then it's like the worst thing out of that bunch of cards you could pull. And Volcanion. How great. My favorite map. I'm honestly tempted. This is Volcanion. I might just concede. I honestly can't be bothered to play against Volcanion. It's just, it's such an annoying deck to play against. Like, there's like no way we're gonna, we don't run Sun Lab. Lugia, you can't really do by itself. So I might, honestly, if this is Volcanion, I'm dipping out. Because I don't want to play against this. I mean, this deck, you basically just got to take the loss against Volcanion. So if it's Volcanion, I'm auto-conceding. I you guys may like in the channel. Oh, but I, Dubs, why did you concede the game? You should have played and see if you won. I'm not going to win, okay? I'm not going to win against Volcanion. There's just like no way. Even if we get a decent start with Lugia. Lugia just can't carry itself against Volcanion. 
We'll see. I don't know. if it, Again, I'm probably just going to... I just can't be bothered to deal with Volcanion. It's just too much, like, math and plays to just try and beat this stupid fire deck. So if it's Volcanion... It's not. All right. Whew. Gave me a heart attack. Gave me a heart attack there, game. All right. We get a belt. I was hoping to get a giant... A uh, giant? I was hoping to get four giant plants off that so we can get a uh, thing in play. We'll belt the active... I'll put a grass energy on, and I'll go with N. Alright, so he is going to draw extra cards, but that's fine. What are we going to get? Oh, come on, Decidueyes. Alright, we're definitely not going to be able to get a Decidueye going unless this, like, Acrobite gives us, like, an Ultra Ball. Okay. We can dig for Shaman, then. Fine by me. I think I'm just going to get rid of N and Sycamore. So, we'll get rid of these two guys. We'll grab Shaman, and Shaman just has to give us, like, the most perfect hand we could have ever asked for. You know, if we had such an explosive turn, it could have been possible to get three Decidueyes in play and take out this Eevee and win the game. But nope, not looking like it. Definitely not looking like it. I mean, we're fine. We still have Lugia putting some pressure on him. We can still grab Rowlet. How many Decidueyes are in my deck? All four of them are. Uh, looks like all f Okay, one Rowlet is prized and one... Okay, so all our day tricks. So just one Rowlet is prized out of our whole Decidueye line, which is kind of surprising, but I'll take it. And I think we'll pass. Next turn, it's. I think next turn will be good to get Decidueyes in play. Um, we'll see, though, what kind of thing this is. Cosmog. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be Espeon with Thing and Delinquent. Alright, thank god that Thing isn't delinquenting now. That'd be annoying. Thank god, I'm actually kind of glad we didn't play Fortunate Plants now. So he's going to Psybeam me, which is sort of annoying because Psybeam actually does confuse me. And being confused is pretty annoying, I'm not going to lie. So just 30 damage. Alright. If we can take out that Cosmog, possibly, that'd be good. Decidueye, really? I'm, I might have just enemy. Nah, we have Revitalizer. It's fine. I'll DC. I'll go in for the Lugia. I don't know if that's going to be good or not. We'll go for Sycamore. I really don't like losing Super Rod, but hey, you know what? Hollow Hunt's still going good, so it's all good. So let's do Sycamore. We gotta find the Decidue... Thanks, game. Thanks for not giving me the the combo I needed to pull off a Decidueye play. Ah, yeah, yeah, my, my, mama. I mean, we can get the do Decidueyes in play, but the fact that we haven't gotten our Decidueyes in play, wait, where are Force of Nine Plants? Where are they hiding? Like, jeez, I do not know how we haven't found one yet. That's super annoying. We'll go there, ball. Do we get it? Yes, we do. Nice. Nice, nice. We can take out Espeon next turn. Espeon, I mean, Psychic's doing some damage because we have three energies, but it ain't not gonna save. So... As long as we can avoid confusion as long as possible, we're good. Uh, so we see the level ball for Eevee. Flareon could be a problem, for sure. But we'll see how that goes. I mean, we can always just target a Flareon down. So no, it looks like he's going for another Espeon. I kind of want to take out Cosmog. Again, I think next turn we will be okay to get the triple Decidueye in play. And I may just, just take out that Cosmog. I mean, Lunala could be a problem. So he just sidebeams me. Alright, so he didn't have an energy. There's a timer ball. Alright, we can grab another Daytrix, maybe. Beedrill, I don't think you're going to be good, buddy. I just, I don't think we're going to need Beedrill. I don't even know if he wants balloons or not. It's going to put a DCE on the Decidueye. We'll go with the timer ball. Can we at least get one hit for my boy Daytrix? Nope. Rip. Can I get a rip in the chat? Even though this is uh, YouTube. So let's go with Sycamore. What are we going to find? Okay, I don't think there's a Daytrix in the discard, is there? Nope. So, okay, we can't get the triple thing going, which is a little annoying. We're going to hit him once and just hope we can, you know, wake up after this. And I think we'll just hit that Cosmog and just threaten it to be knocked out next turn. If I play the Forest Giant Plants down now, he has a Delinquent sitting in his hand. And we hit it, yes! Lugia, you are a legend! You are a legend and a half. So let's take our two prizes, Trainer's Mail and a Sycamore. Okay, not bad. Not too bad, so next turn, I definitely want to try and knock out this Cosmog, because that thing, Lunala, could be a problem, but no, he actually just concedes. I mean, Lugia's a legend, and we actually get a Fates Collide pack, so it looks like we can open that up down the road. Don't need to open up now, I don't think, so we can always open that up later. So uh, I think we'll find another match with our deck. I mean, it's working out pretty well. We were able to beat probably one of our worst matchups, and we were able to beat a matchup that, I mean, we didn't we weren't able to really play it fully, but you never know. An all fire deck. Alright, I don't think this is Volcanion though. It might be Typhlosion, which I don't know how to feel about that. Alright, let's flip the coin. Can we win it? 
No. If we won the coin flip and he started with Cind just a lone Cyndaquil, we could just triple Decidueye and win the game. But going second is good. Maybe maybe he doesn't get any more Pokemon down. Maybe he doesn't find Talonflame. And maybe... I don't know why everyone's playing Typhlosion now. I mean, it's never really been a good deck. It's always been more of one of those, like, budgety kind of decks. Even then, it still isn't that great of a budget deck, in my opinion. But, I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, I've run into a lot of Typhlosion recently. Like, what the heck? I mean, it's the weirdest thing to run into. But whatever, I mean. I guess people just like playing Typhlosion budget decks. I don't know. But if he starts with Cyndaquil and doesn't get any of the Pokemon down, then we can win the game with uh, the Decidueye. I mean, we can even just knock him out with, like, Lugia or something. Because we do run, like, one energy attackers, like Trevenant and Lugia, so it's not impossible. So we just gotta wait here for my opponent. Maybe he's gonna be AFK the whole time. Maybe I'm gonna be lucky. So let's find out. Alright, now we are mulliganing. I was gonna talk about this hand a little bit. I mean, this wouldn't be a terrible hand if we started with, like, Lugia or something, but it ain't, so... Okay, my opponent's taking a while here. All right, there we go. I still don't like playing against Syndical uh, Typhlosion, um, but whatever. I just everyone's playing this deck nowadays for some reason. I don't know why. Like, it's not, I haven't seen any big PC show YouTubers make like a groundbreaking Typhlosion deck video. It's just for some reason, it's just boop, popping up all over the place recently. So I just don't know what to tell you guys. I honestly, don't. Alright, my opponent is taking a while. Maybe if we're lucky, he's going to be AFK a lot, so, like, he doesn't do anything during his turn. And, like, you know, he gets the 15-second timer, but he's inactive, so we we're able to, like, you know, win that way. That could be an... I mean, I'm hoping, because, you know, I don't really like playing against Typhlosion. I think it's still a rough matchup, because we're weak to fire. It's hard to one-shot Typhlosion, so we'll see. Hopefully my opponent, though, is going to take five years the entire game. Alright, Rowlet start. We got Floatstone. This hand is actually kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of like this hand. Please do not start with Talonflame. Please get a Cyndaquil start. If he starts with Cyndaquil, then we, he may not be able to get another Pokemon down. And then we can win the game. Maybe with a triple Decidueye play. It's possible. It's possible, people. Don't believe the impossible. So we just have to wait here for Envy King. I mean, jeez, it's taking a while. Thankfully, though, I think he's going to be AFK a lot. And we might be able... To get some wins in that way for lucky so hey we, 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 we gotta wait we gotta wait we gotta wait ah oh, boy i don't know maybe he's lagging or something but he's taking a long time i'm just gonna stretch out the video i think this video's probably been like what half an hour long it's gonna be like an hour long by the time this game ends holy cow man i really okay you know what they need to make it so like if you're afk at the beginning of the game like right now you give me the win hey look at that Okay, never mind. I guess they uh, did the whole time. We actually have 50 coins. I think that gives us enough now to buy a pack, right? Nah, three coins off. Go figure. <laughs> go figure. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll find one more game. We need three more coins. Three more coins, my boys, and then we can get a pack, and hopefully we can pull something. And, alright, it looks like we are playing against Evil Tall Garboder. So, this is one of those matchups where it's like, Sidui, you gotta come in clutch. So, I'm gonna go with Heads. Please, Victini, thank you. Ooh. If he starts with Trubbish, I'm going to be pretty happy. But we'll see. Hopefully, we can get an explosive play here. Uh, let's find out. All right, this hand actually isn't that bad. We do get Trevenant start, which is fine. You know, I'd rather start with Treb than, like, Shaman or D even Rowlet, even. Uh, even though with Floatstone, I'd still rather get, like, a big attacker going. So, if this is Evil Tall Garb, I'm going to be a little worried, even though we do have Beedrill. But even then, it could be rough. So, let's see. Shaman, that doesn't really reveal what he's playing. Okay, hold on. We'll do level ball first. We'll grab ourselves a Rowlet. So let's see. So all our day tricks in the deck. All right, one Decidueye is prized, but that's fine. I, you're not really going to be getting like six Decidueyes and play in one turn. So we'll do male. Can we get four giant plants? No, of course not. Why am I whiffing these four giant plants, dude? Come on. Okay, I'll just get rid of Rowlet and then we can always super otter uh, do a thing to get him back. All right, looks like one shame in his prize. How many of my four giant plants are in my deck? All four. Uh, why am I whiffing these, dude? I honestly don't know if I've even hit a four giant plant recently. So we'll play down the shaman. We'll set up for four. Can we find the setup we need? We get a grass, which is fine. And we'll do trainer's mail. There we go. All right, finally, we got a four giant plants. In before my opponent delinquents me next turn, Kappa. All right, we'll do the four giant plants. We'll get a Daytrix down. I mean, damaging Shaman isn't a big deal. 
I mean, we could knock it out if we... I mean, it's possible Wood Blast 50 extra Feather damage if he doesn't uh, Sky Return me. So let's go with N. Can we find the Decidueyes we need? No, we don't. But, hey, you know what? This hand, I mean, we... I don't even know if I really wanted to do Decidueye anyways. Like, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that in case I get delinquented. So I'm just gonna pass. Don't need to belt the Trevenant right now, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, the Sijuai, I mean, I would have liked to have gotten him in play, but it may not matter too much. Because with the Sijuai, uh, with Shaman, yeah, he could just retreat or Sky Return. Uh, he does have Toroso, which is a bit of a problem for Mad Bull GX. Parallel City, fine by me, don't really the matter. We already have the four Fortnite plants. And we might just see a retreat into Toros. If not, yeah, okay, we do. Alright, fine. Alright, can we top deck anything good? Yes, we do. We got a Decidueye. Good, good, good. That is good in my books. I'll belt the Trev. I'm going to DC the uh, Decidueye because we'll just do Dark Force for now. I know he's going to Mad Bull me soon, so we might as well do that. We'll go with Sycamore. We got to lose another Daytrix, but that's why we got the Force Giant, uh, Revitalizer. Alright, so there is that. He's got me three bent Pokemon, so he's not doing the one where we are doing less damage, which is fine. So we'll do it again. And we'll go with the Dark Force. It's only doing 20 or 30, actually, sorry, but it's fine. We're still getting damage on this Tauros, so all is good in the hood. We can Razor Leaf him next turn. So Dark Energy. He's probably going to Mad Bull GX me, and then we will just be a Seeker for N. Add him to 4. So he does get rid of a Garbodor, which is nice, so he won't. it'll be hard for him to get Garbodor in play. I don't really mind him using Mad Bull GX on a Trevenant, though, to be honest with you. Because Trevenant may be nice with the Dark Force, but in the end, it's not going to help us. So let's see, Mad Bull GX me, please, please do not like hammer me or any hammer would be devastating because then we won't be able to Razor Leaf and maybe KO him. So he plays a Dark Cry. So okay, I guess this is Dark Cry, Garbodor Tauros. I I guess there's a uh, Ultra Ball Gambit event and Sycamore. Keep getting rid of your supporters. Not like I'm gonna end you to four. Maybe you won't draw anything. Kappa Ross grabs Trubbish. We got Beedrill. We'll probably just play the Giant Plants down and then play Beedrill down because Beedrill's gonna be super important in this matchup. So there's the Trubbish coming down, and okay, what else are we going to see? I mean, he's already used a Floatstone on Shaman. He's also lost a Garbodor, so we might be good on that end. Is my opponent going to do anything else? No Max Elixirs? No, just a Mad Bull GX going to knock out my boy Trev. Literally, I think just enough damage, too. Wow. But hey, it is what it is. We can bring up Decidueye. We're not going to be able to knock him out, though, but we can still do damage to him, which is fine. We can play that. We'll, okay, we'll play Beedrill. Uh, I'm going to go with the N right away. I don't need to play Timer Ball. I mean, maybe I could just to burn it, I guess. I guess, eh, I guess why not? Just burn it. I don't think we're going to need it anymore. Because both our other Daytrix are in our discard. And we need, we all have a Vitalizer to Super Hot, so it's fine. So let's go with the N, and let's see. What are we going to get? We get a Lugia, which is really good. I really wanted to get that. We can play Lugia down. And we can go with Acrobike. Let's see, what can we find? Um, Decidueye. We'll grab the Decidueye, I guess. And let's just... Feather Arrow. We'll oh, hold on. We'll target Darkrai for a sec. We're only doing four. I mean, we could have targeted the Trubbish, maybe, but... I think we'll just target Darkrai. If I do a lot of damage to this thing, we could easily just walk into a trap, so... Let's just Razor Leaf for 90, just so he doesn't do an, a lot of damage with Rage. So I'm fine with doing that. So yeah. And then maybe next turn we can... Nah, we can't kill the Tauros. I, mm, he plays Evil Tall down. I was, maybe, maybe, again, we can Live Standard Trubbish. I don't know. Oh boy, there's that. So we might just have the Double Scrapper soon if he gets a uh, thing. Hopefully this dude does not get like a Sycamore off his end of four. I swear, I get the most unluckiest end sometimes, man. I end my opponent. I'm like, you get a low hand size. My opponent gets like all the cards they need to make an explosive play. I'm like, really, N? Like, what did I ever do to you, man? Like, I even trusted you back in black and white. No, just a Rage. All right, 190. Still a lot of damage, though. Okay, here's where we got to do this. So... Ooh, force giant plants, revitalizer. If we had a uh, Rowlet in the discard, it would have been a lot better, but we don't. So we'll feather arrow, hit evil tall. We'll retreat Sidueye into Lugia. So yeah, let's retreat to Sidueye. Obviously, we don't want him to get knocked out. And we'll do another feather arrow on evil tall again. I mean, again, we could have knocked out Trubbish, but. 
mm, I don't know if it would be needed, you know what I mean? So, we still have a level ball. I think, yeah, we definitely still have a Rowlet. I'm going to hold off on the Revitalizers for a sec. Just because, again, if we get N here, then we're drawn to Daytrixes we don't need. So, I guess we'll just Arrow Ball and knock him out. Take two prizes. See what we can find. Maybe we get a Rowlet. I think one's prize. Now we get a Trainer's Mail, though. Another N4, which could be good. So, he brings up Shaman. All right, as long as there's a Garbodor going, then we can start doing things. We might have to do Double Scrapper soon. Double Scrapper is really the only way we're going to get rid of this Garbodor play. That's why we got Beetle on the deck, so when my opponent does get Garbodor down, we double scrapper it. So yeah, he's got to wait for the Superstar here. He's probably going to just attack with Evil Tall. Hopefully he's just drawn dead. If he's drawn dead, this just gives us a lot of opportunities. So he just has to bring up Evil Tall. And he delinquents me. Fine by me. We'll get rid of Lysander. We'll get rid of... How many, okay, how many VS figures have we played? Two. Oh, we'll hold on to a Lysander then. We'll get rid of N, and I guess we'll just get rid of Decidueye. We have our Vitalizer. I don't even know if I need a Vitalizer for both Dates or two, so it's fine. So we'll do that. It's all good. If we find a DCE, which I think I still have some left, right? I've only used two. So yeah, I still have one left. We can DC. We can Deep Hurricane and find a Stadium and knock him out. So let's go with Trainer's Mail. Let's see what we can find. We got a float. Okay, we didn't get any sycamores or anything, which is kind of disappointing. 130. Hmm. All right, hold on. Let's do feather arrow. Hit the active. So if we put an energy on, we're doing 100 damage. So we can knock out this evil tall. All right, that's fine. So we'll do this again. We'll grass the active, and we'll arrow ball knock out this evil tall ex. And yeah, boom. And now we're going down two prizes. And if my opponent's still drawing dead, this is great. There's another Decidueye and another N. N I don't really need anymore because I don't want to add myself to two. So, yeah, I think we're in a decent spot right now. Next turn, we'll just Lysander the Darkrai. Or no, we can just Lysander Shaman and uh, Deep Hurricane, right? Yeah, we can do Double Feather Arrow to Shaman and then Deep Hurricane knock it out. And even if not, we'll float the Lugia and then just Double Scrapper or Garbodor play if he gets one down. So, no, just to concede. But I think I showed up the deck pretty well. We And we get 50 coins. All right, we will be able to buy a pack. And then, I think I'm going to end off the video there. So, I think, yeah, I'll end off the video there. We got 250 coins, a lot of coins going on. That was pretty good, though. I, you know, this deck, I definitely think, is a good deck. I don't know, there's so many Decidueye ideas. You got Decidueye Tauros, Lugia, you got Decidueye Latios, Decidueye Hoot Hoot, Decidueye Hypno, Decidueye Sesmentoad. Can't even talk right now, but there's so many Decidueye decks to use. It's insane. Decidueye has so much potential. I do want to save up for that Pokeball sleeve, because I really do like it, but uh, whatever, I don't care. I don't really care. All right, so let's open up our packs here. We got we got one locked pack of Fates Collide, which I think I'll open up that first. Just again, if we don't pull anything here, it increase the odds of pulling something Sun and Moon. I think I die. I mean, again, I'm I'm not no conspiracy theorist, but we'll do it. So let's see. Altaria Spirit Lang, DCE, and we get a Snorlax. How many of these do we have? Because this is actually a decent card. All right, we got to place it now, which is nice. Okay, we didn't get anything in there, so hoping we get something out of here. Like, even if I get Decidueye GX, I can just trade off one of my ones that I already got. Well, they're still going for a decent price. Either I get an Umbreon or Decidueye GX. One of the two. Or, like, a Seeker Ultra Ball. We'll open up the back one. Tauros! Yes! Okay, thank God. Dude, I actually needed these. I'm trying to make that Tauros Garbodor deck. I saw Omni Pokemon give anyone in the deck that we played in the uh, beginning of the video. So, thank God I pulled a Tauros, dude. Thank you, game. I love you. See, I told you if we opened up that face, if we opened up the Sun and Moon pack first, probably wouldn't have gotten towards. But if you guys enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe more Pete Steel content. And I'll see you guys on another video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I got more Decidueye ideas coming soon, so expect to see a, a little bit more Decidueye videos. I gotta find more PNG images of Decidueye. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on another video. Adios.